Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to try and give y'all an accurate representation of what it's like to drive around all day long looking for new places to treasure hunt. I'm going to keep my eyes open for places to look for fossils, antique bottles, and whatever other weird kind of fun stuff we can find along the way as well. Maybe we'll find nothing at all, but maybe we'll end up finding some cool stuff. Either way, it's going to be a fun time hanging out today, just me and y'all driving around and seeing what we can discover. But first, we got to eat some breakfast. First, got to make some eggs. Delicious eggs. And we got to make some oatmeal. Yes, I eat my oatmeal plain with no sugar whatsoever. Hello, beautiful hard boiled eggs. Mmm. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments down below what do you eat for breakfast every morning? I always have oatmeal and some delicious hard boiled eggs, and it's always great. Now that my body is full of sustenance and energy, we're gonna hop in the trusty fossil mobile here. We're gonna go out and see what we can discover today. Let's go, baby. All right, and what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna hit that little button. We're gonna turn that miles to zero. We're gonna see how many miles we end up driving today. We're getting close to 200,000, oh God. So I've kinda got no direction today, guys. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna have a good time while we're at it. So let's continue on down the road and see what awaits us. Hopefully today we can find a creek to walk. Maybe we'll find some dirt roads to look for shark teeth and shells or other fossils on. Or maybe we'll find some riverbanks to walk or something like that. Maybe I'll even stop at some known spots just to guarantee we get a little bit of something something just in case. But I do want today to mostly be an exploration day. We've only gone 10 miles so far, so let's keep driving. All right, only gone about 13 miles. I'm gonna stop and get some gasoline. I'm gonna go inside this gas station, pay for that. Probably get some hydration and some snacks as well. Pumping me some gasoline. Some weird ad going on over there. I'm getting 15 bucks, I think, is what I got. All right. I already had some pistachios with me, and then I went inside. I got me some propel, some electrolytes in the water. I got me some of uh, these, which are incredibly delicious pretzel crisp buffalo wing. And I got me some bananas. Here we are, continuing on down the road now. Got an almost full tank of gas, we are good to go. It is so insanely flat out here, flat and farmland. Pretty neat looking I must say though, it's kind of kind of pretty. I've gone about 43 miles now, nothing, nothing to stop and look at that was interesting. But I'm getting to an area where on the map it looks like there's a little bit of canals or creeks and stuff like that, so we're going to be taking a look at some stuff here real soon. Look at this right here, guys. This got me for a second. Hey, look, wait, there is a fossil there. <laughs> I, I saw this like dirt on the side of the road or these rocks and I was like, I wonder if there's any fossils in that. Look at that, there's a, there's a little bit of coral. It's a little fossilized coral piece. It's kind of like, this stuff's kind of calcite-y sometimes, but this one doesn't really have much on it, but it's kind of a cool fossil coral. That's really interesting. But look at that, there's a little shell cast. Right there too, inside cast of a little shell. It's kind of neat. Yeah, there's some shell impressions right there. All right, some kind of cool stuff, nothing real wild though. Let's keep going. 46 miles in and we found our first fossils. Let's keep a looking. All right, everybody, it's time to go for a little walk. Cause I found a little spot that I recognize that I haven't been to in a very long time, a very, very long time. And it's this little, look at this, it's like this canal. If you look right here, check it out. There are fossilized shells all over the place. Huge, giant, beautiful ones in that case. It's really cool, so I wanted to take a quick walk in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some cool shells or shark teeth. And I just wanted to show you guys because we're definitely going to be coming and doing some videos here soon. Oh my goodness! What? 
Look at that big fossilized whelk shell. Dude. That thing is cool. I'm excited about that. I'm keeping that. That is so neat. Look at all this stuff. Look in the bank right here. See all that? That's all shell material up there in the bank eroding out. Look at that big clam and stuff like that. Dude, I would not mind some more of that. I have never seen a shell like that here. Okay, let's keep walking a little bit. Why not? Whoa. <laughs> Look at the bubbles right here. <laughs> oh God, I'm sinking. I guess see another cool whelk right there. Oh, it is a nice one. Ooh, that one's pretty nice too. Look at all the weird clay shell material popping out of there, full of like little tiny shells. That's gorgeous right there. Another gorgeous whelk shell. Okay. Today turning into a shell hunting day, guys. That is awesome. What? Another nice one. There are whelks everywhere right here. Too bad there's no calcite in them. I know way, way, way down that way we found calcite before. We're going to save that for another day of a full video out here. So y'all got to let me know if you want to see a full video here in the comments below. Look at this, guys. I'm literally just reaching down with my hands in this shell material and pulling up beautifully preserved, beautifully preserved shells down there. That is really, really cool. I got a really cool whelk right here. I just pulled up with my hands. Look at that. That is such a gorgeous whelk. Let's add it to the little whelk collection. I picked that one up. That one, that big one that I found as I walked in here. And this is really cool. I know today's supposed to be an exploration day, but I'm exploring with my hands right here in the water, guys. A little bit more. Well, take a look at this, y'all. Sometimes I do smart things and I bring gloves when I may need them. So we're just gonna spend some more time right here feeling around in the shell layer with these gloves because I wanna find more of these right here. So let's see what else we can pop out right here. Kind of a neat little cone shell I just pulled up right there. So y'all gotta let me know in the comments below if you wanna see me come back to this little creek right here and do a whole video on hunting shells and finding more of these. Cause look how amazing that is. That is such a cool fossil shell. Man, y'all just missed it. There's this whelk shell right here. I swear that's a big whelk shell sticking out of the bank and I was just walking back to where I parked. I was probably gonna go under the bridge and look on the other side too. I tried to like move some dirt around it and of course I cut the heck out of that finger right there. Anyways, I cut my finger right there. It was kind of nasty. It was kind of bleeding pretty bad and it was stupid because I just had my gloves on and I should know better but I went to my vehicle and put some hand sanitizer on it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put a glove on and I'm gonna get that whelk shell out. Luckily, my tetanus shot is up to date, so I shouldn't have to worry too much there. I bet it was that shell right there I cut myself on. But if this is a big giant whelk that's complete and beautiful, I am going to be excited. This is a different kind, I think, than the other one. Oh my gosh. Dude, that thing is cool. Look at that. That is a huge whelk shell. Well, that is quite beautiful right there. Oh no, if you're queasy, you look away. My finger's bleeding. <laughs> uh, it's not fun. But guys, this side of the bridge is madness. Dude, look at the size of what that whelk shell would have been. It would have been huge, but, but look at this. Look at the wall. Look at the wall of shells, guys. What? Oh my goodness. It's incredible. Look, there's just such cool, look at little whelky shells in there. Oh my gosh, look at it. Dude, <laughs> this is exciting. I, I love fossil shells and this is so cool to just see these all sitting in here like this. Look at the little olive shell right there. I'm walking around a little more. I can't leave. I can't leave. There's cool fossil shells everywhere. I just can't get over it. The incredible wall of shells. There's a different one right there. Ah, it crumbled into a million pieces. Look at this. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Part of a big whelk. Dude. Oh, look at that. A big giant whelky. Another one just sitting there. This one's got some holes in it, but it's still really cool. Dude. 
that is a really cool elk. I probably won't keep this one though. I'm better. I leave it there. Leave it there for someone else. <laughs> I can't. I can't get enough of it. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, cool. Look at that one's complete. Get off of there, dirt. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like. Oh, cool. Dude, that is a cool one. So my guess is these shells are probably going to be Pliocene, Pliocene, over 2 million years old. And they're just up in this wall right here. I forgot how exciting this spot was. I haven't been to this little canal in like probably over a year or something like that, maybe even two years. This place is really, really, really cool. Like I said, I remember finding shark teeth way down that way. So, gonna have to come back here with the old Paleo Chris and some other friends maybe sometime soon and go way down there and see if we can find some more shark teeth. We haven't seen any in this little section right here. Big giant whelk sitting in the bank. And like it, that part is intact. Is the rest of it gonna be intact? Ugh. What? <laughs> Dude. Look at that. Yeah, come on. Get off of that muddy mud. Dude, this one's wacky looking. It's like had the roots growing through it and stuff. And look at, it's got like other shell stuff. Ah, stuck to it. What? There's like shells in it. Dude, oh, this one's cool. Look at that. The roots made like this crazy design on it. That's like etched in there. Dude, I like that. How many times have I said dude today? Someone needs to let me know in the comments below because I'm too excited that I keep saying dude and it's probably annoying. You know, one thing I could do that would be probably really hilarious one day with these big clam shells is I could make a bikini out of them. <laughs> a shell bikini. Wild Kyle in a shell bikini. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. All right. I am picking up my beautiful, fragile shell fossils that make me happy. I'm gonna walk back to my vehicle. Well, how cool was that, y'all? That turned out to be exciting. I mean, look at my passenger seat over here. Really cool fossil whelk shells and other shells and stuff like that. Very exciting. I love that little spot, so definitely want to come back there very soon. It's about 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. So, I think we have time to keep going a little bit, guys. I think we have time to go do a little bit more exploration. So, let's see what else we can find. Y'all be sure not to go anywhere. We still have time to hang out and hunt some more treasure. There's a riverbank spot I want to check out that's about a 40 minute drive. So we're going to go check that out and see how it is. Alright my friends, we've got 86 miles in the bag. I'm right here at the riverbank I was talking about. This is a big old river. And I walked right through here one time and found a bunch of weird stuff. I don't know, it was just fun. It was really fun. There was like bottles and like other weird stuff. I don't know if there's gonna be much of anything really old, but there's a lot of weird stuff. Well, let's get out and see if we can't hunt some more treasure. In hindsight, I should have brought some trash bags because there's a ridiculous amount of trash right here. In fact, this big chunk of wood right here has nails in it, so I'm probably gonna take that and find a place to throw it away because I don't want anyone else to, to step on it. But, look okay, at there's all these like bottles stuck in the roots or that's like part of an old food jar or something like that hey check that out a little cobalt vix jar that's kind of neat this must be some part of old dock or something look at that look at the way the tree grew around it and then someone wrote yo guy and what in the world is that <laughs> but that that is crazy. Look at the way the tree grew around there. And right behind it here, look at this rope. That is heavy duty. Like, what is that even for? That's super heavy duty rope. Is that? It's a milk bottle. Wouldn't it be crazy if it was embossed? Oh my gosh, it's embossed. No way. Dude, what? What does it say? One point, it says something dairy on it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to read it. Oh, it's Gustafsson's Dairy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Man, that's a cool embossed milk bottle. No way. I did not expect that right here. 
I did not expect that at all. I can't believe it was embossed. I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up nicer. See if I hold it up to the light if you can see a little bit. Uh, not quite yet. Wow. Yeah, I might be able to see the embossing a little bit on there now. I'm gonna have to get all that green stuff out of there. But that's an embossed milk bottle. That is so cool. Well, I hope that y'all agree that today's been turning out to be a pretty awesome video. Maybe I just need to jump in my car and mindlessly drive around a little bit more often. That was really cool. That milk bottle was just right there. There's bottles all over the place and all kinds of weird stuff, weird pieces of wood and stuff like that. Keep walking around a little bit. I need to come here earlier in the day one time when the sun's a little higher because you can kind of see in the water a little bit here, but it's getting hard with the sun going down. But there's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of glass. Like all kinds of glass. Look at all that glass. Jeez. Look at that. Oh, dude. That's literally part of a royal palm. Is that the rest of the royal palm right there? Oh, that's the rest of it. Or not the rest necessarily, but part of it. There's a royal palm bottle here. Okay. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind finding that. This is so weird. <laughs> Some ACL applied color label bottle stuck in some ceramic thing that says Jackson right there. I don't know if that, like, someone stuck that in there, if that happened naturally. There's no way that happened naturally. But that is so strange. Also, something smells like death. Oh, God. Kind of crazy. I recognize that. Another broken royal palm bottle. And if you look right here, look at that. Another broken royal palm bottle. Aw, oh, man. That's sad that they're all busted up, but there's a good sign that there might be some more around here because there's a lot of broken pieces of royal palms, so check that out. I recognize that. That's the bottom of a blue mason jar. You can see the O and the N right there. Man, there's some promise out here. This is really interesting stuff. <laughs> this is what I love about walking random areas. Like, what in the world even was that? <laughs> It's so weird. Y'all let me know in the comments below what you think that is. Not gonna lie, slightly uncomfortable walking through the water here. I feel like this is like, this is some alligator heaven right here. I, I bet alligators love this stuff. It's kind of neat right here. I had a phone call, so I didn't film picking this up, but it's a Pat D. Coke, Jacksonville, Florida, and the date code is down here, wherever it was right there, and it's a 1945, so that's kind of cool. It's in good shape, so. I'll accept it. Looks like a pretty Coke bottle right there. It says Pat D already, I can see. And it's from Norfolk, Virginia. Let's see if it's got a date code on it. From 1944. Sorry if I wasn't on focus on that. <laughs> 1944, Norfolk, Virginia. That is pretty cool. You gotta be kidding me right now. Those are old, aren't they? Aren't those old? That old spice? No way. Dude. It's got a little crack down there at the bottom, but that's okay. Dude, how old are these guys? Let me know in the comments below, please. I can't remember. I think that's old. I think that's old. I think it is. Or is it from like the fort? I don't know what it is. It's really cool. I've never found one of these before. Okay, I looked up some stuff on my phone, and it seems to be from about the 30s or the 40s. That is still so cool. Such a cool little ceramic bottle. The sun is going down quite beautifully. Looks like we don't have a lot of time, but do you see what I see? <laughs> that is insane amount of bottles. Judging by what I'm finding right here, it's all gonna be 40s stuff, but we're gonna go check it out anyways. This, my friends, is some legit mud larking. <laughs> what? So it's a lot of like 60s and stuff like that. Probably from the 40s to the 60s in this particular spot. But it's still kind of interesting. And there might, you know, we might get lucky and have something older mixed in. But look at all the Coke bottles and stuff. That is crazy. Look, it's all up there. There's that little metal doohickey. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's kind of neat. Ah, oh, there's a horse fly on me. It's kind of neat, whatever it is. There's all kinds of weird junk right here. This is literally 
the craziest amount of bottles and glass I've ever seen anywhere. Like, without a doubt. Why couldn't I have been lucky and this ended up being like all stuff from the 20s? <laughs> uh, you can only get so lucky sometimes. There's a kind of cool like mug right there. Weird. I don't know. Maybe I need to keep walking riverbanks and get lucky one day and find some older stuff. That's like, oh look, a royal palm right there. ACL. Would have been kind of cool if that was complete. Diet Pepsi. Dude, it's, this is crazy. All right, y'all, the sun is going down, so I'm gonna end today's video on this endless sea of glass, which is crazy. I wish that stuff would have been a little bit older, but it's still cool to walk around and take a look at it. And I found that really cool milk bottle that was in Boston, that cool Old Spice and some cool Coke bottles here as well. So today was an incredible, incredible adventure. Found some really cool shells and then this stuff right here. So it's been a really good day. If y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see y'all in the next video.